Hello and welcome to another video walk around by myself Parker and today we're going to be looking at a 2019 Toyota Highlander LE. This is a four door eight passenger all wheel drive SUV in Ula La Rouge Mica. And under the hood you'll find a 3.5 liter V6 engine and you'll be riding on top of 18 inch alloy wheel. Some of your exterior features include a backup camera, projector LED headlamps and LED rear lamps to keep you clearly on the road. Now why don't we head inside and see what else this Highlander has to offer. Helping us into our Highlander, we have our key fob, we have the lock and unlock buttons, plus we have our panic button. So we'll lock up. You can see that we do have that signal light on the mirror. So unlocking once, we'll unlock the driver's side door, and twice, we'll unlock all four. So we can open up our door and check out our driver's side door panel. We do have those uh, four window buttons. The two front are automatic. And then we have the lock and unlock, plus the window lock, and then we have our mirror adjust as well. Just looking down to the seat, we have our adjuster with some nice plush seats right here. And then just to the left of the uh, steering wheel, we have our automatic headlamps and then we have the rain sensing, rain sensing windshield wipers. So we'll grab a seat. And there we go. Now we'll just wait for the beeping to stop. And then we can look at our multi-information display. I'm gonna be using the right-hand side of the steering wheel to navigate. Just looking at the few different readouts it wants to give us. And then if we want to return to the main menu, all we'll do is press that button right there. Just below, we do have the uh, lane departure control and then dynamic radar cruise control. On the left-hand side, we have our uh, volume buttons, channel changer, mode selector, our voice recognition, and then we have the hands-free pickup. And just behind the right hand, we do have our cruise control. Looking at our entertainment system, very basic here, but as much function as we need. We have all of our presets in the same menu, so we don't have to be flipping through AM and FM. Pressing our audio shows us our source, CD, USB, Bluetooth, and auxiliary. Looking at our car gives us our consumption rates, and then setup will allow us to change uh, any settings we need um, to customize. Just below, we have our our climate system, we have our front defrost, and then we also have our rear and mirror defrost. The strength is on this uh, left dial, and then temperature is on the right dial. Um, we have our um, rear we can turn on and off, and then there is a, a separate control uh, in the center console that I will show you in just a few seconds. Just below, we have one of my favorite features across all the Highlanders. We have the, um, the full length dash cubby hole. And then this portion right here allows us to plug in any of our devices and lay them along, stringing them through and plugging just below into those um, plugins right there, allowing us to not have any sort of cordage being tangled and messed up. So nice and easy for that one. So looking at this, we have two USBs, plus we have a USB that will connect us to our entertainment system and our auxiliary right there. And on the right hand side, we have our 12 volt DC outlet. A few of the features that we have in the Highlander, we have our traction control, we have snow mode, we have downhill acceleration control, and then we also have our limited slip differential. Just below, we have our cup holders with some nice chrome, and then the interior, sorry, this uh, little insert can be taken out, and then we have our sport mode as well. Opening up into our cubby hole, it's a press, press and pull or press and push. There's a 12 volt DC outlet with this sliding piece that we can take out and remove or we can place it in regardless lets us do what we need to do so we'll close that up and then the piece I wanted to show you is just right here we have our climate control for the back giving them some autonomy and allowing them to choose uh, whichever they might um, like a little further down we have our locking cubby hole we can open this up you can see that there's lots of room inside there for anything we might need to stash. And like I said, locking cubby hole so we can lock that up and make sure that everything inside there stays safe and sound and secure. If we pop into reverse, we can see uh, our backup camera giving us a nice crisp picture if we have anything behind us. So we'll pop it into park and why don't we head back and take a look at cargo.
Looking at the back of our Highlander, a few things to show you. We do have that rear window wiper, plus we have the inlay defrost in the back window. Just underneath our emblem, we have the backup camera giving us an extra set of eyes, and the chrome plate doesn't uh, do any harm either. And then we have our nice LE all-wheel drive badging, so we can open right up. And you can see that we do have our eight-passenger variation uh, set up right now, still giving us lots of room uh, to pop any sort of baggage or uh, groceries, anything we might need to put, sports equipment. Here's a little bit of extra space for uh, anything you might need to keep uh, out of sight. Plus we have our towing, sorry not towing, our uh, tire change kit. We have our, our jack and all the tools we might need to uh, change that. If we do need a little more space back here and we have less passengers, all we have to do is pull on these tethers and push. And that gives us five passenger configuration plus a lot more room. So you can see those seat belts are out of the way and it gives us a lot more room to pop whatever we might need. We have those two D-rings, if you can see the silver D-rings to secure our load just in case. And then bringing them back up is as easy as pulling on these two tethers right there. The second row is also a 60-40 splitting seat, so if we need to lay something completely down and we don't have anybody we need to bring with us, perfectly capable. So we'll close this. And just take a last look. Now let's take a last look at our 2019 Toyota Highlander LE. Some other features include a 60-40 splitting second and third row, and a 6.1 inch touch panel display and audio system for the convenience you crave. There's a whole lot more I didn't get a chance to show you. It's coming in and take it for a test drive. We're here at Toyota Northwest Edmonton on the corner of 137th Avenue and St. Albert Trail. Thank you again for watching this walk around video. My name is Parker, and until we see you, drive safe.